fives were immaculate today. One thing I never understood is 2023. Bah! Well, it's happening. Welcome to the first episode of Rod Ventures. I'm going to show you guys what we go through in the Pecos League. And if you don't know what the Pecos League is, I'll have my friend explain in a little bit what it is. But it's going to be fun. Hopefully you guys have fun watching this video and we'll see what happens after this. Do it again. So look at that. That's the goal. Let's see it, cars. There we go. Savage. All right, guys, uh, apparently I'm on Rodrigo's vlog. I'm Declan Peterson. It's my third pro season, third year in the Pecos League. The last two years, I played for the Santa Fe Fuego. Now I'm here in Marysville here, I guess, to explain a little bit about the Pecos League. It's a 16-team league. I believe it's been in operation since 2011. There's eight teams in the Mountain Division spread all throughout Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico. And then we're on the Pacific side of the division where there's also eight teams all situated all throughout California. We're the most northern team. Uh, we travel all throughout Northern California, throughout the Bay Area, down to Southern California. There's a couple teams as well. Um, on this side of the division, we play about 50 games in 60 days uh, with spring training starting uh, the middle of May. Our season just started uh, about a week ago um, towards the end of May and then regular season goes until July 31st is the last regular season game, and then after that, playoffs will begin. The top four teams from each division, four from the Mountain Division, four from the Pacific Division will make it. Uh, then the top team from each division will play against each other for the championship, uh, which will happen sometime in the middle of August.
So today's Thursday. As of right now, we are three and two. Um, tomorrow will be my next outing. And before we get to that, I want to show you guys what Skip gave me for the first outing. A little lineup. Shout out to Weaver for the first home run. And first pro win. Sanchez. Seven Ks in five innings. We got the dub. We got the dub. Now, the thing is, we're going to play the same team tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys a prediction of how the I'm going to do. And hopefully we'll do better than that. So, stay tuned. Well, the best thing about the Pecos League is that we have to drive ourselves to the game. Not good. We got a... Uh, my man. Now we're in 30. How's it going, Evan? Pretty good. 100 miles to go, baby. See you guys there. Oh! Well, we made it to Martinez, California. Did I get a quick sandwich from Luigi's. What's your favorite? Well, I don't drink it. But Dog and Suds Root Beer, it's a, like a drive-in food place in Illinois. Oh, really? So I don't know how they have that. Yeah, Martinez, California. Honestly, this time we came prepared. Last time, it was way colder than I thought. And wasn't prepared at that time. Uh, so for some reason, I thought it was going to be hot in California. But not when you show up close to the bay. Ah, he's streaming, he's streaming. Hey. Instagram live, Facebook live. Oh yeah. This is Alamo Burger King. Twenty-one. Get your third base. <laughs> Yo, for the vlog, let me see a little flex. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. In this episode of how shitty is our bullpen. This is our catching site. Let's see this mound real quick. The mound doesn't look too bad. I give the mound a solid five. Six, I'll give it a six. I we'll have no bullpen area for the bullpen people. Yikes. Well, since my outing is tomorrow I get to hit in the last group today a batting practice so I'll let you guys know how that goes what you think playing out here on Tuesday how was it it was cold got a good little outing in for being Cali it was cold huh yeah it was cold man and today we can't prepare it and it's hot it's yeah. not as cold so We'll see how tonight goes, though. It's game time. Pre-game routine. Mike on the bump. He's unhealthy. Skate it, baby. Feels ready to go. See you after the game. <laughs> Went up. 6-1. Michael, keep throwing, baby. Keep having fun, baby. He's off. All right, well, welcome back to the vlog of Adventures. Here we are with the starting pitcher. 
How's Take it going, guys? Reporting here from, uh, we are in Martinez, California, from the Bay Area, South Bay. Got your picture here, Michael. Um, how do you feel about today? Let's just start that off. Well, the vibes were immaculate today. I mean, the boys came out swinging, big dick swinging, and I mean, we hit around and we put up runs. It was awesome. It we was did. a great day of ball. We did. Yeah. How did they support you when you were up on the mound fighting every single fight and when you walked a couple? How did the, how did the team help you? Oh, positive energy, giving the vibes to me, and then also just making plays by me and uh, filling up the zone. And uh, yeah, I walked the park a little bit, but I mean, Everyone was behind us, full support. So, I mean, the Drakes were just killing it today. You heard it himself, the Drakes, Marysville Drakes, California. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, that is done for today. What was the score? They took it off, to but it was 18 to eight. Uh, One thing I never understood, it's 2023. And how can we fix this little crack, man? People can see me. Game day, it's Friday. Happy to be alive, happy to be here. I'm gonna give you guys my predictions real quick for tonight. So I think I'm gonna go six innings, eight strikeouts, four, three, three, three walks or less. And I will get a hit. Pitchers in this league hit. So I think I'm gonna also gonna get a hit and they're gonna score one run. That's all I'm giving up in six innings. So, after the game, stay tuned to see how I did. So y'all remember the lineup, the home run? That's the dude right there. Shout out to Weaver. I'm gonna put your hashtag like right here. So follow, subscribe, yeah. Okay. Literal run through through the field. Let me show you our home. This is dope. I love playing home. Concession stands. Oh, you know what? Let me bring my stuff already. Okay. Stuff I need for pitching for later. Um, oh, in the next episode, I'll do like what's in a bag of a pitcher. I'll show you guys that. You'll be known as the first manager of the Drakes. Skip. Right, so right now. What a guy. He's a funny dude. I'm gonna go through the back. Nah, I'm gonna go through here. Show you guys our dugout. Pro material dog out. Ayana. Scared it, baby. God is good. The Infinity Stone glove with Rodrigo on the mound tonight, baby. Evan behind the dish today. How you feeling, man? Feeling good. Yeah. Like Roddy to shove. Hell yeah. Love that, yeah. Looking for a lot of strikes, not a lot of walks, getting the head on batters. Hell yeah. And they, they ain't gonna touch nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, Rob. 
go, boys. This is Rowdy, our bat boy, also a really good kid. What's your key for success for tonight? Let's go, Rowdy. You heard it from him, the man, Rowdy. Oh, yeah. Number 13, yeah. Rodrigo Sanchez. Let's go, let's go. Well, we are five and two now, and all I can say is call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. Six innings yesterday, six strikeouts, one walk, one earned run. Take on the Vallejo C batting 412, two home runs, but trouble C. One ball, two strikes to count. Breaking ball drops in there for a called strike three. Ike Brown did, now it's full, and the pitch, breaking ball, in there for a called strike, and he knew it. And the count is full. 3-2 pitch, in there for a called, fifth inning here, and he's brought the heat. The pitch, on the outside part of the plate, called strike. No, I did not get a hit, but we are 5-2, good win, feel happy, good outing. Uh, Mr. Evan, great job catching, and the whole team, it was a good, Team win. Uh, only gave up two hits in six innings. So it was a great outing. Uh, had a lot of fun. Now time to get ready for the next outing and do it all over again. So see you on next episode.